Hi everyone. In this video, you're going to learn about the zero trust security model. My name is Lauren and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro fast. Let's get started. In the age of digitalization, where massive data is stored online and business processes are automated, data breach is always a looming threat. It is becoming evident that the castle and moat security model is no longer adequate in protecting data infrastructures. Companies are now prioritizing cybersecurity by integrating security systems and implementing security policies to safeguard sensitive data. This is why the corporate world is quickly adopting stiffer security models such as zero trust. Zero Trust is an IT security model in which users and devices are granted access only when they have been authenticated and only to the resources they need to operate. This model mandates strict identity verification for every user or device inside and outside of the network perimeter. Zero Trust was invented by John Kinderbag in 2010. The former Forrester Research Principal Analyst developed this model after concluding that the traditional security model, which is based on the assumption that all entities within an organization's network can be trusted, is an outdated approach to data security. The core principle of this approach is never trust, always verify. As opposed to the castle and moat approach, where every entity inside the network system is trusted by default, no source is trusted in a zero trust model. Identities both inside and outside the network perimeter are seen as potential threats. Thus, access can only be granted to each request after it has been verified, authorized, and encrypted. Since its inception, zero trust has become one of the more popular concepts in cybersecurity. The implementation of the zero trust security model or architecture requires the combination of advanced technologies such as identity and access management, IAM, multiple factor authentication, next generation endpoint security technology, and identity protection. These technologies will verify the user's identity and defend system security. The main goal of a zero trust architecture is to prevent breaches and curb damage if the system is ever compromised. The principles of zero trust security. There is no specific technology associated with the zero trust architecture. Some technologies work well in a zero trust environment and some don't. The zero trust architecture integrates several principles and technologies to achieve optimum protection. The following are some of the principles of the zero trust security model. Identity and access management. This strategy is a core element in building a zero trust infrastructure. Identity and access management enable enterprises to manage various entities such as people, software, and hardware. IAM assists in authenticating user identities before granting the right level of access to sensitive information. Additionally, Proper management of identities and access permissions helps enforce user authentication-related policies, validation, and privileges, and most importantly, helps identify access creep. Least privilege access. This principle involves granting access to the resources each individual needs to function. Essentially, this entails only granting the level of privilege needed to carry out a certain task, for only the amount of time needed to perform such a task. The goal is to prevent lateral movement across the network as attackers get access to sensitive data by compromising user access and moving laterally across the network. By implementing this principle, organizations can reduce risk and minimize surface attacks. According to the 2020 Global State of Least Privileged Cybersecurity Report, 67% of organizations now prioritize the least privileged security strategy. Micro-segmentation. This principle involves separating network assets down to a granular level to reduce the potential attack surface. Micro-segmentation helps mitigate the spread of attacks and ensures potential threats can be easily contained. This is a core principle for zero trust as it greatly improves threat detection and response times. In the event of an attack, 
Micro segmentation tools can automatically generate alerts in real time and obstruct unauthorized activity. Multi-factor authentication. MFA. Since zero trust regards trust as a vulnerability, all sources need to be authenticated multiple times before they gain access to the corporate resources. Multi-factor authentication requires continuous validation to prove the identity of users. This principle is a key component to achieving zero trust. Leveraging intelligent, continuous, multi-factor authentication to provide additional security layers enables businesses to add next level security even remotely. Ultimately, MFA decreases the chances of user identity becoming compromised. Intelligence and security analytics. Another pillar used in building a zero trust infrastructure is user behavior analytics. Using rich intelligence and analytics, businesses can monitor their network perimeter, detect and respond to threats in real time. In a zero trust environment, users cannot be trusted by default, even when they have been verified. Hence, it is imperative to ensure each user is who they claim to be by monitoring their behavior while inside the network perimeter. User behavior analytics uses algorithms, machine learning, and statistical analysis to sense any unusual behavior or cases where there are deviations from the normal conduct of the user. Because user behavior analytics focuses on internal threats, organizations can utilize this tool to get proper visibility and also improve internal defenses. Major components of the zero trust architecture. The components of zero trust architecture interact seamlessly to form a security barrier and reduce threats. These are the major logical components of a zero trust architecture deployment. The policy engine, PE. The PE is the decision-making point in the zero trust architecture. The PE processes a massive amount of data to make its decision about access requests. It collects the needed data from a number of connected resources that monitor and collect actionable information. Essentially, the PE makes and logs decisions while the PA enforces these decisions. The Policy Administrator, PA. This component severs or creates the communication path between the subject and the resource. The PA works with the PEP to authenticate all access requests based on the policy decisions made by the policy engine. If the access request is authorized, the PA alerts the PEP to grant access. The Policy Enforcement Point, PEP. The PEP is the entry point where adaptive access control capability is enforced. Only the requests authenticated and authorized by the PEP are granted access to the resources. All authenticated access to resources is encrypted. Implementing a Zero Trust Architecture A successful Zero Trust Architecture ZTA, depends on how well its components are deployed. Zero Trust is a security concept. As such, there is no specific technology known to deploy the Zero Trust Architecture. What this means is that companies can only rely on a combination of existing technologies to implement Zero Trust infrastructure across their IT infrastructure. Although there is a method of ZTA implementation known as the Greenfield approach, which involves building the architecture from scratch. However, this context is quite uncommon, as there is usually a pre-existing perimeter-focused cyber defense system. The initial step in implementing a zero trust architecture is to identify the protect surface. The protect surface is where the network's most valuable data, assets, applications, and services, DOS, are located. The protect surface of each organization is unique as it contains data critical to its operations. In a zero trust architecture, the protect surface is identified and more importantly, the traffic around it is closely monitored. After the protect surface is identified, a micro perimeter can be created around it using a next generation firewall, NGFW. This way, only authorized users and legitimate applications can be granted access to the protect surface. The micro perimeter must be intensely monitored. 
Users and devices that interact with these resources must be identified and closely monitored as well. Close attention needs to be paid to how users and devices interact within the network in relation to the Protect service. The last step involves configuring and enforcing access policies and monitoring and maintaining the network architecture in real time to ensure improvement of the network security. Why Zero Trust? At the core of the Zero Trust model is data security. Data is a valuable asset which must be protected at all costs from hackers. The Zero Trust security approach strives to build security layers to protect data and ensure intruders have limited freedom even when they penetrate the network perimeter. Beyond security, Zero Trust facilitates agility and increases productivity as the chances of threats and malware penetrating the network area are now streamlined. The key benefits of implementing Zero Trust include increased defense against external and internal threats, authority to grant privileged access, limited lateral movement within the network perimeter, enhanced visibility into every user activity and across the enterprise, reduced possibility of data leak, reinforced security level both in the cloud and on premises, secured remote workforce and improved organizational agility, and optimal usage of authentication and authority. With the explosion of the remote workforce, traditional security measures such as firewalls, VPNs, and network access control are becoming outdated. Also, with the rise of cloud computing, organizations are seeing the need to double down on cybersecurity as they no longer store their data in one location. The Zero Trust approach to security proves to be more effective in protecting network infrastructure and preventing data leaks as it concentrates on securing the network perimeter from both outside and inside threats. Although Zero Trust might have recently become mainstream, we can expect this model to evolve further in years to come. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.